Good morning, Livonia Middle High. Would you please stand for the morning ceremonies? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Wednesday, May 26th. It is an 8A today. For lunch today, we will be having pizza. Don't forget to pre-order your lunch. Class of 2023, if you are interested in if you are interested in running for an officer's position, please check your email and or the Google Classroom for more information. Make sure you get your application filled out by June 7th and be prepared to attend a meeting on June 7th during seminar in Mrs. O'Keefe's room, room 515 Middle School. Meeting will begin at 1015. If you have any questions, contact Mr. or Mrs. O'Keefe. There is a varsity club meeting Thursday, that's tomorrow, after school in the e-learning cafe for all current members and anyone interested in joining. We will be discussing field day with 4th and 5th graders. New processes change, possibly su summer events and fall sporting events. Anyone, attention anyone interested in joining the modified JV or varsity cheerleading team, this fall there will be an informational meeting this Wednesday at 2.30 in the high school library. Cheerleading this year will be very exciting as we move toward competition cheering game day cheer. Come here about the great way to support Livonia as a cheerleader and or compete as a Livonia competition athlete. Cheerleading has something for everyone. Come see if it's a good fit for you. Wednesday at 2.30 in the high school library. The modified softball team lost a close game last night to Dansville. Avon Cook stuck out six batters and Brooke Schaffer struck out two. Outs were made in the field by Ellie DeBolt. Elena Tarek, Ava Cook, Brooke Schaffer, and Shelby Tarosi with assistance from their teammates. Runs were scored by the entire team with either RBIs or crossing the plate. Great job, girls. They play again tonight in Hornell at 5 p.m. Oh no, not another overdue book notice from the library. Tired of those pesky overdue notices? Keep forgetting to return that book? You're in luck. Bring back your overdue books and get candy for Mrs. Cole or Mrs. Donahue. The Livonia boys track team defended Dansville yesterday by a score of 96 to 41. Leading the way for the Bulldogs was Brady Bischoff, who won the 100-200 long jump and high jump. Luke Lawton was victorious in both the 1600 and 3200, while Seath Norman won both shot put in disgust. Christian Tugsbury, Nico Williams, and Matt Connor won the triple jump, 110 hurdles and 400 hurdles, respectively. Rounding out victories for Livonia and were the 4x1, 4x8, and 4x4 relays. Seniors Brady Bishop, Adam DeGrand, Owen Hens Hensler, Jake Marson, Ethan Matquez, Brendan Mayo, Seath Norman, Adam Nahart, Evan Olski, Matt Matthew Stow, Christian Tewksbury and Sean Werner were celebrated during the senior night ceremony. Livonia is now 4-1 on the season. For the girls, Livonia defeated Dansville by a score of 73-64. Bella Vinci took home first in the 200, 100 hurdles, and 400 hurdles, while Malikia Tumanki won bolts, shot, put, and disgust. Mariza Wilson was victorious in the long jump and high jump. Rounding out wins for Livonia were Isabel Dennis in the 400, Angela Tilski in the triple jump, and 4x400 relay. Seniors with C. Fitzgerald, Olivia Kribex, Ma Maria Miller, Malikia Tunamiki, and Maricia Wilson were celebrated during the senior night ceremony. With the win, Livonia improved to 2-3 to on the season. That's all for the morning announcements. Everyone have a great day.